Hi, everybody. It's Jackie schomburg Minen. Um, I had a very interesting weekend. <laughs> it was the last of this session's Brave Art and Creative Wellness Workshops. And uh, it was a blast. We did collage. We're going to be doing a collage next time as well. Um, and I, between the morning session and the evening session on Friday, I found out that a dear um, friend of mine and friend of our family passed away. So I knew he was sick. I knew it was coming. Um, but still, it was... Uh, it was sad, right? I mean, it's it's just sad. So I felt like I wanted to share with you the art that I made in the morning session and the art that I made in the evening session. I did not take a video of the art I made in the morning, so I'll just show you a still photo of what it looks like. And I'm going to read you my witness writing that I did in that session as well. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with our five week Brave Art and Creative Wellness workshop, um, that's gonna be called the small group experience going forward. Um, there are five of us, six of us in these classes together and it goes for five weeks. At the end of the five weeks, so on week five, we spend a 15 minutes in the beginning of that class, looking over the art that we've made in the previous weeks in that session. So uh, we spend time looking back at our art and then we also spend 15 minutes writing about whatever comes into our brain as a result of reviewing that art. Um, this is the time that I often will see the patterns that I don't see real time. For instance, if you've seen my video, uh, I'll try to remember to link it, or at least put a link in the description, but I recently posted a video of like, oh, my art tells me things, and I don't hear them, and then when I look back at my art, it's like, rest, Jackie, do something for yourself. Like, all these things are literally, literally, like the word is literally in my art staring me in the face and I don't see it until I look back and keep flipping pages and see the same message over and over and over again about how I should maybe take a break. So um, anyway, I don't have, I don't know that I have a specific reason that I feel like I need to share it other than I feel like I should share it. So there's no rational, uh, logical explanation. Um, there's no point I'm trying to make. I just feel like I want to share it. So maybe this will be helpful for some of you out there. Maybe some of you will resonate with it. I'd love to hear from you. And I hope you are all having a wonderful weekend. And I hope to hear from you soon. Okay, the subtitle to this video should be called this is what you see if Jackie ends up recording something when she hadn't planned on recording anything. Um, yeah, it's whatever. I, as I said this weekend in my workshops, I'm just going to give up on tidying up. <laughs> I'm going to give up on keep repeating that on my to-do list and I'm not making very much progress lately and I'm just going to let that one go for now. Um, I would have at least shoved it out of view, uh, you know, if I had thought about this and given myself more time. However, I was making this during a workshop and all of a sudden thought, let me just record this and see what happens. So here we are. I had enough room to create, but that's just about it. So thank you for your grace and, uh, you know, this dose of harsh reality. Um, as I mentioned in the intro, I wanted to share some thoughts about art that I've made in the past few weeks. I thought it was such an interesting observation and it just feels like I want to share it. So I'm going to share it. So this is what I've written 
responding to art that I've made the previous weeks. So it's not related to this art that I'm making right now, although I may share that at the end also. All right, this is my group witness. What a roller coaster I was on through this session, and not just me, medical emergencies, car accidents, and so much life. The parts of life we prefer to avoid, the scary parts, the scary uncertainty, the close calls, and yet these events do remind us that it can be easier to focus on what is needed and drop the rest. We really don't have to do all the things, especially, especially not all at once. Everything is important until it isn't. My ADHD often tells me that everything is top priority, that everything needs to be done now. It makes it hard to pick anything because if I focus on keeping one plate spinning, all the others begin to fall. What does it take to be? I remember spelling that part out, but I had forgotten the hidden joys, their everywhere part. These are the wins, the paper clips Erica's dad used to talk about. There's always something good, something worth seeing if we would only remember to look for it. It's not toxic positivity to see the good in things when hard things are also happening. It's holding space for the fullness of life and our complex, nuanced experience of life. That is the assignment. So that was the group witness for the previous week's work. And then I made this other art and this is my witness in response to the current or the art that I made at that time. Witness, blooming, F yes. This whole vibe came out of my group witness from reminding myself of the hospital art making sessions, watching B sleep, from this whole awful, terrible, beautiful, amazing, lovely life that we get to live. We don't get to choose everything that does or doesn't happen to us, but we do get to choose whether we let it change us for the better or the worse. Will we wither or will we bloom? That sounds too simple and trite. We often need help to bloom, even when life feels manageable. That's the community, the 2AM friends, the friends who show up when you need them without a formal invitation, the friends who show up with the things you didn't even know you needed. Find me something more beautiful than that. I really needed to hear these from myself. And I know that might sound a little strange, especially with those of you who have never um, done this type of writing and art making combo. But these are the types of things that come out. And I wasn't thinking about these things ahead of time. I wasn't thinking about, I was thinking about my son in the hospital because some of the art I made this session was made, you know, with him in the hospital. So it's definitely top of mind. But I was thinking of my friend who was in hospice and it was just something that felt important and it still feels important on one hand I'm so thankful that my son is okay and he's seems to be very healthy again uh, I'm so thankful that he was healed and on the other hand I'm so sad that my friend passed away and at the time I wrote that I didn't know that he had passed away yet but that's, that is life, right? There's so much pain and fear and sadness. And there's so much beauty and love and magic. And I feel like one of the ways that artists see the world and relate to the world and create things that impact other people is in the way that we can express things that we can't express in words. 
and we can hold things, all the beauty, all the pain, all the annoyance, all the, um, the happiness and celebrations and just all the wonderful things and all the terrible things at once. I feel like that's one of the main gifts that art in general provides the world. A way to process those things, a way to uh, take in those things, a way to hold those things at the same time when it feels so hard and everything feels so confusing. So I wanted to share that with you for what it's worth. And I hope that you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful week. I hope that you are in the most beautiful part of your life today. And if you're not, and if you're in the muck and you just feel like it's not going to get any better, the only constant is change, right? That's what they tell us. They being, I don't know. (laughs) movie philosophers. I don't know. But it's true. The only constant is change. So like the Chicago weather, if you don't like where you are now and everything feels really hard, just hang out a little bit longer because it'll change. Always. Always it will change. Sometimes that's unfortunate. And we hate that part. And sometimes it's exactly what we've been waiting for. So hang in there. Call a friend. Go for a walk. I don't know what else. But create some art. Grab some magazines. Cut up some paper. Rip it in half. Glue it down on something else. I'm sure everyone's got an Amazon box in their house at this point. (laughs) Grab a cardboard box, cut out a square, a rectangle, and start gluing some paper down onto it. See what happens. Where's the risk? It's a pretty low bar for risk. It's a cardboard box. You were probably just about to recycle it or mail it to someone else, in which case you can mail them a decorated box because how much more fun is that to receive? Okay, really quick before I finish up, going back to the art I've been making all along, I wanted to remind you there's a June 14th Brave Art and Creative Wellness Workshop. We're going to be going through collage. It's totally free. You can sign up using the link in the upper right hand corner now, or go to JackieSchomburg.com slash workshops. This is a free uh, one one and done workshop. I would love to see you there and I can walk you through this entire process and show you how to do it. Okay, back to the art that you've been watching this whole time. This collage is what I made in my second workshop yesterday after I found out that my friend had passed away. And this is what I wrote. I said, witness, grief is tricky bittersweet at best, the coin purse in her hand, set to catch all that enters the open door, but no one comes home. Everything's tidy and in its place. I'm going to stop apologizing for my clutter. I don't like it either. I make progress every day on many things, too many, so progress is hard to see. How to make progress more visible to myself. Seeing progress is motivating. Seeing the bricks stack up. 